Hi, welcome back to the Power of Model Drawing. Now, today we are going to continue with our lessons on how to draw out the problem creatively. Alright, so uh, the objective of all the lessons that we are going to cover right for the next few months is to look at the problem and not to try to solve it, right? Because most of the time, uh, you are trying to solve the problem after reading the problem. Uh, but model drawing is about reading the problem first, and you understand the problem, and then later you draw out the sentence uh, by sentence. Okay, so let's look at the lesson for today, which is to draw a segmented model. Now, what is a segmented model? It means that you break the model into different parts. Right, so you take the rectangle. When you draw a model, it's like a rectangle, and then you just cut it. Right, just uh break the rectangle into different portions. So that's what it means by segmented model. So let's look at uh example one. One quarter of Andrew's money is twenty dollars more than one third of Ben's money. So when you see a fraction, you have to understand what the fractions refer to. So one quarter refers to Andrew's money. Right. Uh, and if you break up the fraction, so what happens is you have to interpret, right? You have to understand what the numerator refer to and what the denominator refer to. So first of all, if you see a fraction, what does it refer to? It refers to uh, the one quarter refers to Andrew's money. And then break up, Andrew's money has four boxes, and one box is twenty dollars more. Okay, look at one third. Now one third refers to Ben's money, and if you break up the Denominator refers to Ben's money, which is the total parts of his money. And what happened to his money? Uh, his money will be less than, right? Will be twenty dollars less than one part of Andrew's money. Okay. So, so in other words, when you when you draw the model, it's like one one box of Andrew's money is twenty dollars more than one box of uh, Ben's money. So if they have hundred fifteen dollars all together, how much money? Uh, does Ben have? Okay, so how do we exactly draw? How do we exactly draw the model? So you focus on the sentence by sentence. So uh, it will be very hard to solve if you try to come up with the steps immediately. So let's look at the first sentence. Andrew has four boxes. So you draw a rectangle, cut it into four boxes, and uh, one box of Andrew's money is twenty dollars more than. One box of Ben's money. So, uh, I draw the dotted line to show the twenty dollars more. So, which means that one box of Ben's money has to be slightly shorter or shorter than one box of Andrew's money. Uh, which is how much more? Which is your twenty dollars more. So, if you draw a dotted line in the box, you cut out here, and there'll be twenty. All right, twenty. So you can see that one box of Andrew's money is. Twenty dollars more than one box of Ben's money, and Ben has three boxes all together. So which means that I draw another one box for Ben, and then another one more box for Ben. So you can see that now Ben has three boxes, and not only he has three boxes, Andrew, right? Andrew's money will be something like this. So you cut, right? One box of Andrew's money is again twenty dollars more than one box of Ben's money. Then another box of Andrew's money is twenty dollars more than one box of Ben's money. All right, so that's how you draw the segmented model. You break up the rectangle for Ben into different boxes, into separate boxes. Now, if they have one hundred and fifteen dollars all together, how much money does Ben have? So this is the question mark that you are supposed to find. So that's how you draw out the sentences. All right, now. Uh, if you notice carefully, now if you cut one box of Andrew's money, right, uh, into twenty dollars more, then don't forget to do the same over here as well, right. So you also you have to make the whole model for Andrew's the same. Okay, now you can see that Ben's box, all right, Ben has three units because the boxes are all equal, and Andrew will also have one unit and twenty dollars more. So over here will be one unit. And twenty dollars more, one unit, and twenty dollars, and so on. All right. So now you have your units already. Okay. And then what do we do next? Now can you add up all the all the units and the total money? So you have Andrew. Andrew has four units, and Ben has three units. And don't forget to add the twenties. So Andrew has four times of twenty. So that will be eighty. Right, four times twenty is eighty. So, 
it means that their total money is 4 unit plus 3 units and plus $80, which is the same as $115. Okay, and then now you can continue to work out 7 units plus 80 is equal to $115. So your 7 unit will be 115 minus 80, that will be $35. And therefore, your 1 unit is $5. So Ben's money has, uh, how much is Ben's money? Ben has 3 units, so 5 times 3, Ben has $15. So that's how you draw the cemented model. You break up the rectangle into separate boxes. Alright, now let's look at example 2. Right, and again, we are going to draw the sentence, and uh, don't focus on how to solve. If you can draw a good model, the solving will usually come very fast, and even sometimes you have even lesser steps for your. All right, when you after you finish your drawing, you find that you actually have lesser steps than when you try to solve it without the drawing. So one sixth of Vera's money. So this fraction refers to Vera sticker, right? Not Vera's money. So one sixth of Vera stickers is $40 more than one-fifth of Wendy's stickers. So the 1 over 6 refers to Vera stickers. So if you break up, the denominator refers to the total boxes of Vera stickers. And one box of a sticker is $40 more. And the one-fifth refers to Wendy's stickers. If you break out the fraction, it means that Wendy has total 4 boxes, and one box will be lesser, 40 less than Right, 40 less than one box of Vera stickers. If they have 504 stickers altogether, how many stickers does Vera have? Okay, so let's draw out the model. When you draw the model, you always start from the beginning. Right, you draw from left to right. So you look at the beginning of the sentence, Vera has six boxes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and six boxes. And one box of Vera's money, of Vera's sticker, is 40 more than one box of Wendy stickers. So I'm going to draw a smaller box and how to show the 40 more? You can put like this, all right? You draw dotted line into inside Vera's box and then you put the 40 more like this. Okay, so one box of Vera's stickers is 40 more than one box of Wendy stickers. And you do the same for the rest, okay? So you can see that uh, Wendy has five boxes. So which means that, okay, which means that you will have to draw two second box, and then third box, and then you have a fourth box, and then fifth box, and that's it, All right? Five boxes, right? Okay, so try to draw as, um, as nicely as you can. But always remember, your model is never perfect. So when you draw your model, sometimes you may need to adjust, or you may need to just make it look a little tidier. So let me just make it a bit neater. Okay, so if one box of Vera's stickers is 40 more than one box of Wendy's stickers, then you do the same, all right, for all the boxes inside of Vera. So the, the this box, which is, one box of Vera sticker is again 40 more, and then one box of Vera sticker is again 40 more, and then over here, one box is 40 more, right? And then do the same for the whole rectangle for Vera, right? Do the same for the whole model. So every box of Vera sticker, you can see that it is 40 more, right? 40 more than every box of Wendy stickers. All right, so what do you call all these boxes, which are all equal? So Wendy has five units and Vera will have one unit and inside here one unit, one unit and so on. Alright, so it means that every box that Vera has is one unit and 40. And then Wendy has uh, five units of stickers all together. Alright, so how many stickers they have all together? So continue to build your model. If they have 504 stickers all together, how many stickers does Vera have? Which is the question mark over here. And your model is done. So if your model is a good draw, if, if your model is a good model, means uh, you draw, uh, you're drawn well, then you should be able to look at the model and uh, use it to solve. So can you count all the units that they have? So Wendy has five units, and uh, Vera has one, two, three, four, five, six, six units, and don't forget to add the forties. So Vera has 
one, two, three, four, five, six, six times of 40. So that will be 240 stickers. So that is their total stickers, which is 504. And then you have 5 plus 6 units, that will be 11 units. And uh, 504, and you minus 240. And you will get 264. So what is 1 unit? So you divide. So divide by 11. So your 1 unit is 24. Okay? So can you find how many stickers does Vera have? So you count Vera's units. Vera has uh, how many? Uh, 6 unit plus 240. Am I correct? So how many is 6 unit? <clears throat> so 6 unit will be 24 times 6. Alright, 24 times 6. And then you plus 240. And you will get 384. Right? So, and that's how you solve the problem. Right? 6 unit plus 240. And that is 384. So Vera has 384 stickers. Okay, so that's how you draw a semi-method model. Not very hard. Uh, maybe at the beginning, you don't quite know how to draw this model, so it looks very hard, or it, it was very hard for you to solve. But now, you should be able to solve it, right, if you see a question like this. All right, let's go to guide the exam, uh, practice problem, and I will give you about 10 minutes, right, 5 to 10 minutes to try to draw out the problem, and then uh, get the answer. All right, your time starts now. Okay, so do you draw, manage to draw the model? So Joey and Pamela save $800 altogether. One quarter of Joey's saving was $65 more than one-fifth of Pamela's savings. So how much more money than Pamela did Joey save? Now, when you see fractions, it is very important that you know how to interpret the fraction. The first question that you need to ask is, what does a fraction refer to? So every time you see a fraction in your exam, or in your homework, uh, the fraction refers to what? For example, one quarter refers to Joey's savings, right? And uh, if you break up the fraction to draw your model, you actually have four boxes of Joby savings, and one box was $65 more. Okay, that's how you interpret the fraction. And then the second fraction, which is one-fifth, that refers to Pamela's savings. And if you break up the fraction, Pamela's saving has total five boxes, and one box of her saving is $65 lesser. Agree? Alright, so how much money did, uh, how much more than Pamela did Joyce have? So let's draw the model. So the first sentence, if you find the first sentence has uh, not enough information to draw, then you can always jump and look at the next sentence. And usually when there's a fraction, you can start your drawing. So Joby has four boxes. So cut into four, all right, and uh, and one box. Okay, let me just draw a little bigger so that we don't have to squeeze the number later. So one box of Joey saving was $65 more than one box of Pamela savings. Okay, so you draw a box, right? Draw one box of Pamela, which is shorter than one box of Joy savings. And this is your $65 more. So do the same for Pamela boxes. Pamela has five boxes, right? So there's second box, and then dotted line, and you have a third box, right? And then dotted line, and you have uh, you have a fourth box, and then dotted line, and there is a fifth box. So Pamela has total five boxes, which are all separated. Okay, now then how to continue building your model? Now Joyce. One box of Joyce money is $65 more than one box of Pamela's money. So you do the same for all the boxes for Joyce money. So over here, also $65 more. Okay? All right, now you can see that all the boxes, they are units because they look the same. They are all equal. And Joyce will be one unit plus $65. So every box that Joyce have is one unit and sixty-five dollars more. Okay, all right, and uh, both of them. Uh, remember the first sentence that you couldn't draw the model because not enough information to tell you. So now you can go back to the <coughs> the first sentence and continue to add on to your model. So the first sentence tells you they have a total of eight hundred dollars. So how much more money than Pamela did 
Joyce save. All right, how much more money than Pamela did Joyce save? All right, you can see that uh, the model looks quite weird because Pamela is supposed to have a longer rectangle, right? But it's quite hard, all right, <laughs> quite hard to see uh, whether Pamela has more money because if you were to put the boxes together, it is actually shorter than, than uh, it's actually lesser money than Joyce. So Joyce has actually more money, right? Joyce has more money. So if you combine, combine the five units of Pamela's money and you join them back into a, into a rectangle, you will see that Joyce's rectangle is longer than Pamela's money, right? So how do we put the question mark like this? Right, how do we put the question mark? Are you going to put the question mark like this? Then that would be uh, that would be quite wrong because Joyce actually has more than Pamela. So one of the guidelines to model drawing is if you can't put anything inside the model, don't put. Right, so we just leave it alone. So uh, we don't put the question mark. If you have some difficulty putting the question mark, or if you think that it will make the drawing a bit more messy, uh, then you don't put it inside. Okay. But can we find the total? So together they have how many units? So Pamela has five units. Joyce has one, two, three, four. Joyce has four units. And don't forget to add the 65s. So there are four times of 65. There will be 260, right? So that's their total money, which is also $800. So nine unit plus 260 is equal to $800. So what is 9 unit? So you take 800 and you minus 260. So your 9 unit is 540. So what is 1 unit? So 1 unit is 60, right? So can you find how much more the Joyce save? So you can find ah, Joyce money and then you can also find, okay let me use a different color, you can also find Pamela's money. So which is easier to get the answer? Well, I will, I, will, I will want to find Pamela's money because it's easier to get her money and then get the answer later. For example, Pamela has 5 units. So 60 times 5, that will be 300. So instead of finding Joyce's money, which is 4 units plus 260, right, which is the longer step to get the answer, I will just take the total money and you minus Pamela and Joyce will have $500, right? That's faster. Instead of finding, uh, instead of trying to work out four units plus $260, which is Joyce's money, all right? Uh, that's a faster way. Take the total minus Pamela's money, you get Joyce. And then now can you find how much more? So you take 500, which is Pamela, my, which is Joyce minus Pamela. So Joyce has $200 more and you solve the problem. So that's how you, right, that's how you draw out the sentences, right, using segmented model. All right, so we come to the end of this lesson. Uh, so not a very hard lesson, looks quite easy. Uh, so continue to stay tuned for the coming lessons. All right, we will continue to draw out the problems and, uh, and the problems will be more complicated. I mean, they will be getting harder because you will have uh, fractions, ratios, uh, percentages, or inside a single problem, uh, but no matter how difficult the problem is, uh, the matter is still the same. You always draw out the sentences and then after that you look at the model and you solve it using the model. So the, the matter is always the same. Regardless of whether the problem gets harder or not, uh, the matter is always the same, which means that you have to keep practicing on how to draw out the model. Right? Because if you don't draw the model, you don't practice your model drawing, then you will find that uh, it's hard to draw out the problem. And then in the exam, what do you do? Then you will find that you will not be able to, to get the answer out of those very challenging problems. Okay, so we come to the end of the lesson and I will see you in the next round.